So a decent chunk of people are still using non-JS static generators. So both Hugo, which is in Go, and Jekyll, which is the OG, I think. Well, it definitely popularized this category. It's not the original static site generator, but uh, very popular because a little bit of history here. Tom Preston Warner, of a co-founder of GitHub, wrote Jekyll. It was one of the first big open source Ruby projects on GitHub. And he also wrote a very famous blog post called, I believe, I'm going from memory, Blogging Like a Hacker, in which he made it cool to blog this style. And Jekyll just skyrocketed from there and became kind of the de facto for many years, eventually being replaced by other tools, but still out there. Yeah. I mean, I think this idea that markup is all you need uh, for blogging, for site generation, for things like that. It's really nice and it's clean yeah. and it maybe gets us out of the cycle of every developer who wants to blog and says, oh, but first I need to build a website for my blog. Like just use one of these frameworks, write your blog and mark down and you're done. <laughs> right. And there's also this situation that happened more in the past than it does now, probably because of static generators, but also because of the proliferation now of easy, free hosting plans is that we had this thing called the slash dot effect which eventually became the dig effect, right? And then it became the hacker news or the Reddit effect as different social aggregators kind of replaced each other. But this was a situation where...